Shopify is the new WordPress and you should be paying attention. So in this video, I'm going to go in and break down what's happening with the Shopify ecosystem and why you as a developer should care and pay attention to what they're doing. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, guys, this is a very special video for me because I love Shopify. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm biased, right? But I want to explain to you guys how WordPress was basically the web starling, right? It was like the number one CMS framework or platform that people used, right? And basically for years in the early 2000s, everybody used to build WordPress websites. I mean, even right now, I think maybe 50% of the internet is built on WordPress. Like it's, it's really big, but guess what, right? WordPress is not secured. It's pretty much <laughs> the playground for hackers and scammers. And, you know, and at the same time, it's built on PHP. And a lot of people didn't like that. And at the same time, it's, it's not the best platform to be building websites on from, you know, now 2023 and beyond. Okay. So again, who is the one that's going to come in and dethrone WordPress? And it clearly is Shopify. Okay. So Shopify, if you guys don't know, is pretty much the biggest e-commerce platform in, in the world, right? Beyond Amazon, um, as far as like, you know, how many stores it has, how many uh, companies actually use their platform, right? It's pretty big, right? If you go in and you search on similar tech, you can see some of the biggest uh, companies that have used Shopify in some capacity. Also too, if you guys could, could tell, right? <laughs> you see your boy is over here uh, representing BBC ice cream, right? Shout out to Pharrell who also has a partnership with Shopify and their website is actually built on Shopify also, right? As you guys can see. And again, some of the biggest companies in the world, right? Everything from Heinz, Raycon, um, you got Staples, JB Hi-Fi, Create and Barrel, uh, Kylie Cosmetics, Skims, right? Kylie and, and Kim Kardashian, they have their websites built on Shopify, Gymshark, uh, Fashion Nova, Shoot, man, Old Birds, Bombas, you know, Sephora, like Steve Mann, like we could go on and on and on and on today right now. The amount of companies that are using Shopify and the amount of companies that are switching to Shopify as we speak. So for us as developers, we need to be paying attention to this because this is a great opportunity. And just like WordPress, there's multiple ways that you can start making money right now as we speak. So let's get into this, right? So first of all, we already know that there's a lot of companies that are hiring for Shopify developers and we can see, you know, in samples like this one, right? There's the blank agency in Los Angeles, right? Uh, they're looking to hire Shopify developer 40 to $80 an hour. That's not bad. That's about, you know, at a maximum of $166,000 uh, on a base salary working remote. That's great, right? But at the same time, you can also make money by doing Shopify themes. You can sell them on the Shopify theme store, or you could go in into third-party markets, just like how you used to do with WordPress and sell your, basically your Shopify themes directly on websites like ThemeForest, uh, Creative Market, Etsy, etc. right? You could even use places, you can even use places like Fiverr to start doing freelancing, right? And you could even sell your own themes to customers on Fiverr. Someone needs a store, guess what? Sell them your own theme, make that extra money there. Instead of having to build something custom from the ground up, use your own theme as a starting point and then from there customize it for your customers right? and your clients right so again you got fiber you got upwork there's a lot of different places that you can go into now what's really cool about shopify is that shopify now is not just saying hey we are only doing uh e-commerce they're also allowing you to use them as a hella cms meaning you manage all of the content within the shopify platform but you could have a totally separate custom website on the side and connect through the shopify apis to be able to manage that website so again 
is very powerful. This is where Shopify is pretty much killing the game because you have things like hydrogen, which is a framework that allows you to go in and start building up a Shopify website pretty quickly and using React and Remix on the back end. This is very powerful. Not only can you go in and use their platform and their hosting and, and their security, but then now you can also go in and start building your own custom websites with Remix and React. And then on top of that, even host it with them if you want to. Again, this is where Shopify changes the game. So if you are right now in 2023 and beyond, not paying attention to what Shopify is doing, you're doing a disservice to yourself. I'm being honest as a developer, right? Especially if you're trying to get into the industry while everybody's going left, right? And everybody's learning the same things. Just like I said in my previous videos, right? You want to go to the right where things are good, where people can actually go in and say, hey, let me look at your portfolio. Let me look at your work and really be able to shine, right? When you specialize in something like this, like Shopify, this is an ecosystem. Shopify is not going nowhere, okay? The only thing that I could see is Shopify being bought by Amazon because they're such a big competition to them. But then at the end of the day, then now it's pretty much the same ecosystem. But again, it, Shopify is huge. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like this company is not going away. I think they have over 10 years already as a company, like they're established. This company is not going nowhere. It's the number one leading e-commerce platform and now getting to a point where it's about to replace WordPress. Guys, listen. Listen to me when I tell you, do not make the same mistake that I did back in 2011. I could have been doing WordPress and making money even back then, but I didn't really pay attention to it because I was in the world of like, hey, just learn how to build things with Ruby on Rails, learn how to build things with, you know, back end language. You need to be a full stack developer and this, this and that. Not knowing that being a full stack developer also allows you to work on things like wordpress wordpress is not like its own app or some random thing you're still using php you're still using mysql right you're still building things on the front end so you're using all of your skills as a software engineer like it's not something that's lesser than everything else that everyone is doing but at the time it was a great opportunity that i missed out on i mean every time that i go in and i check on, on, on websites like you know theme forest you check the the sales 891,000 sales right 891,000 sales you bring out the calculator on this let's say on average there's a couple of sales here and there they used to be higher before it used to be like 99 dollars. now it's 69 let's say on average is like 60 dollars right calculate that right this company made in the last i'll tell you when this thing was released august oh my god august of 2012 <laughs> so while i was home like a little kid listening to a bunch of dweebs on the internet right telling me man wordpress is dead php is dead wordpress is a dead end job and this doesn't there's people making millions of wordpress this is the same thing that's happening now with Shopify. And out of experience, I can tell you right now that pretty much that was a big mistake in my life. Okay. Trust me. You know, we could have been making money from plugins. We could have been making money from just selling themes and just putting it out there. Okay. I got 10 plus years in the game. Imagine my catalog in 10 years of work and just making them in the side. Trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> would have been lovely right now there's people right now that don't bought houses don't bought lamborghinis look it up the game they ride that wordpress wave and shoot they made their money right now wordpress is on the decline it's fine they already made the capital they're good they already got their bread they're investing to a bunch of other things shoot they can now switch over to shopify you get what i'm saying another second wave that they could go in and and, and, and catch you know what I'm saying? So again, there's money in Shopify, guys. That's why I focus on it. Y'all know that if I talk about something, there's money in it. And that's it, right? There's opportunities for you and me. It's not just like, hey, I'm just talking about it. This is something that I've been saying since, you know, 2019, 2018 about Shopify. 2020, we went hard. And a lot of people that came to Coding Face, they got jobs. Look it up. Look at the Hall of Fame. 
Again, look at the Hall of Fame and, and, and check some of the stuff that we was able to do with some of our students and, and help them get into positions as Shopify developers. But this year right now, if you're still not paying attention to it. You need to really go into it, man. And again, don't take my word for it. Do your own Googles, my guy. Okay. Um, again, I have that platform, codingphase.com. This is what we do. Um, I come here, I give you guys a lot of good information, give you guys what's coming, what's not coming, what's going on, what's trending, what people are hiring for, where's the money coming in for independent developers. This is what we do in this channel. We don't talk about the little trendy frameworks. We talk about the shit that's going to bring money into our pocket, your pocket, my pocket. That's just how it is. Okay. When you make money, I make money. If you don't do good, trust me. I'm not going to do good either. Okay. We don't get paid from the views. We get paid by getting people results. So again, guys, if you haven't checked this out, right, go to codeface.com, check out the career path of Shopify theme developer. Um, right now we're basically about to start adding a whole new section to the Shopify theme developer timeline, um, where you're going to be able to learn, uh, remix and also to how to use hydrogen, uh, to be able to scale because this is something that employers are now asking for. I've been going through all of the different listings. And one thing that you're going to start noticing is a lot of companies are asking for the same thing. Hydrogen. They're also adding react. They're also adding, you know, remix to the listings. And guess what? This is what makes us different in codingphase.com. It's not like when you go to college, college, you go and you have a whole curriculum set and that's the curriculum for the next five, six years. Now at coding phase, we start looking at every single type of job that's out there and we go and change the curriculum and add the courses and, and the training that you need to get the job positions today, not a year from now, not five years ago, but from today. So, so anyways, man, it's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's backing out and did it again. One more time. Mm. Love you guys. Take care. Peace.